Hello friend, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CPNet's video series on binary tree or data structure algorithms and this video is about check if any given binary tree is binary search tree or not. This seems really very easy. You can just directly go and check whether parent is greater than left hand side and parent is less than right hand side. So let me tell you it is not that easy. <laughs> this video is sponsored by C++ Builder, a full featured C++ IDE for building Windows applications quickly. Our customers deliver apps to market five times faster using C++ Builder than with other IDEs. That's because of our rich visual frameworks and expensive libraries. Prototyping, developing and shipping are very easy with C++ Builder. C++ Builder integrates with continuous build configuration using MS Build and CMake and has HTTP and REST client library on all platforms to invoke REST services and search specific AWS and Azure components. Link is given in the description field. You can check it out. Because this binary search tree, I mean this tree is a binary tree but it is not a binary search tree. Why? Because this 9 is not at the correct place. But if you compare just like parent child, like 9 is less than 50 and 60 is greater than 50. So it is correct. But 9 is less than 10 but it is in the right hand side. So this is the problem. And you can see that, okay, this problem is coming in three levels. You can have maybe hundred of the labels and then it will be very hard to find that something is wrong. So for that, we have to write a program and for the approach would be like this. You will have a min. So you will have two variables, a min. So you can keep like integer min for this. We have variables available and max. Initially, you will pass these two numbers. So int underscore max and they are capital. Okay. So int min is the possible integer minimum number and int max is possible integer max number. So for simplicity, let's keep it like minus infinity and plus infinity. So this is your min and this is your max. So this is your root. So initially you will call some function and pass this root pointer, right? And then you will pass minimum and maximum and the algorithm goes like this. You will check after reaching to this location, you will check whether this node is at correct position. So 10 is in between minus infinity and plus infinity, meaning it is at correct position. Now you will go further. So the rule is when you go left hand side, you will keep left or minimum as it is meaning minus infinity but your max will change because the idea is whatever is in the left hand of this 10 would be lesser than this 10, right? So the upper bound would change. Now your upper bound would be 10 now. So the lower bound is still minus infinity, but upper bound is 10. Now you know that all these nodes should be less than 10. Okay. And greater than minus infinity. So you'll again, check whether this three is in between minus infinity and 10. Yes, it is. So no problem. You'll go ahead and you will go to this one. As I said, you are going left hand side. So you will keep minimum as it is and you will change the maximum. Now, is this true? Is this in between minus infinity and three? Yes, it is true. Meaning this is true. Then you will go back and you will try to go here, but there is nothing. Then you will go back again and then you have covered everything inside the left hand portion of this 10. Now you'll go and cover right hand. Now you're sure that whatever is in the right hand side of this 10 should be greater than 10. So your lower bound is fixed, meaning lower number is fixed. Whatever you will get all these elements should be greater than. So let's keep minimum 10 and maximum would be positive infinity. So now let's check. Is this 50 coming in between 10 and positive 50, uh, infinity? Yes, it is true. Good. Now you'll go to left. So remember when you was going left, you was keeping minimum as it is, right? So you will keep minimum as it is like 10, whatever is there, but maximum would change now. Maximum will be this 50 now. So now you are saying that whatever this number, this number should be in between 10 and 50, but it is not then you know that it is not a binary search tree. So you have to return false from here 
and once you will receive false here you know that there is no need to search further because this tree is not a binary search tree you will return false from here and you are done so let's quickly see what should be the program for this so program would look something like this you have just only three lines and you are done so the first line is root or whatever the node you will pass intermediately is this a null pointer then in that case you will return true meaning so far you have not found any false because if this left hand side is null and right hand side is null then that is still a true condition okay so let's start this we will pass 10 here and then minus infinity and plus infinity meaning integer min and integer max we'll see this root is not null we'll go ahead root value is less than or equal to min min is minus infinity no it is not or root value is greater than max no it is not then we'll go ahead and is binary search tree will traverse now we'll go to three so let's remove this and we'll go to three now but notice this we are keeping minimum as it is so whatever we received as a minimum it was minus infinity we'll keep that as it is now maximum would be or the upper bound would be roots value meaning 3 sorry 10 so we'll return 10 here I mean push 10 here so we'll send 10 here so as I said when we are going from here to here this minus infinity will be like this and you will have 10 here so you have to see that okay this 3 is coming in between minus infinity and 10 it is true and how you check that this is the one this is the one condition you want to check right like if 3 is in between these two numbers so how you'll check that this 3 should not be less than minus infinity and should not be greater than 10 then it means it is in between these two and that's what we are checking here so again this will be not true we'll go ahead and this time it will be 2 here and this min will be still minus infinity or this integer minimum and then roots value now this time it will be 3 so here you will have two same and then this three so like this you will keep on traversing from here to here here to here and then you'll go back and then from here to here 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 and then you will return false so once you are returning this false here I'll directly say that okay you are returning false from here okay and once you return false which one you are returning to actually this one why because you went from here to here with this left okay and this is the left traversal in that case you will come back here and if this is false and this and operation will not allow you and to execute this one so once this is false meaning this whole expression is false and you will return false that's it and you will return false from here to here then you'll go from back and then false will go here and let's suppose this was not 10 this was maybe uh, what to say 15 then this would have returned true because here it would have found null pointer and here also null pointer so ultimately true would have gone here and you would have gone here again true and then from here it would have gone like true and from here it would have returned true finally so these three lines are actually capable to find whether this binary tree is a binary search tree or not cool right thanks for watching guys bye bye take care